Welcome back everyone, in today's video I'm going to show you how to create this collage. Now what I like to do in all of my renders, if it's a section, elevation, perspective, whatever it is, I like to set up a template. So this template will have all of the things that I need, it's people, it's trees, it could be cars, it could be birds, it, it can literally have anything you want. Now this, what this does is it keeps a consistency throughout all of the renders so that they have the same trees, the same people, the same demographic people, so that there's a, some sort of consistency. This will also save you time for keep having to open and close, open and close files. Now one of the first things I did is I analyzed a collage to see the characteristics of the things uh, that are there. Now this doesn't mean that if it doesn't have these things, it's not a collage. Collage could be whatever you want. But what I saw was that there's a lot of cutouts, there's roads sticking out, there's uh, some areas of the sky that are cut, people are just placed. Uh, there's some like some things don't make sense but that adds to the character of the actual drawing this type of render is quick it's easy and it doesn't take a lot of time one of the first things i did was i used the polygonal lasso tool which is on the left and i selected the areas that i wanted to cut from the render and then i cut it i then wanted the road in the middle path to be longer so that it's in the center and then there is a center view viewpoint I did this by just selecting the area and then I used S for the stamp tool and then just stamped all over it to make it work. Now straight away one of the things I did was to bring the trees in because there's going to be a lot of trees in this area so I wanted to do those first. So I added the trees, the trees are in a group because of the color so that there's some sort of different color going throughout the trees because not all trees are all the exact same color. This just makes the trees a little bit more realistic. So set them up in groups. And there's about two or three different tree types that I will use in this render. So I'm literally going to make the trees go along their path that goes all the way to the right and then a little bit on the left as well. So it's literally a case of copying pasting and because it's a perspective, the further things are the smaller they are. So that is something I try to replicate by having every tree a little bit smaller than the other. Now you can use as many trees as you want, different types. Obviously the more types the more nicer it is but you have to be realistic on the type of trees that are being used in this actual area. After a lot of copying and pasting, copying and pasting, it came towards the end which you can see that the trees at the back are very small and that they have to be like some random, some is the green, some is the other, other, other one and just have fun with it and it's all about personal preference to see what you like and how you want them to look. So I, I then grouped the trees at the back because I'm gonna have the exact same thing on the left. This just saves time rather than having to copy and paste every single tree again. And then I just resized it just to make it look nice. And then there we go. Th those are all of the majority of the trees all done now. What I'm gonna do now is lower the opacity of nearly all of the trees. I personally like doing this because it adds some depth and it shows that further back things go, they, they fade away because it's further away. Now again, this is all about personal preference. Try, it's a trial and error. If it's too much, make it higher. If it's too low, make it go, put it lower. And it's all about getting the right balance. So here you can see of me using a range of a range of opacities and using no opacity. You can tell that there's a bit of difference about the depth of the image and how things that are further back are lighter, which makes it easier to look at. And there is a focal point rather than it all being the same. Comment down below on which one you think looks better. So what I then did is I used my template to just add all of the people. Now one of the first things I did is I added a grid line which you can click click and drag from the top ruler and then you bring it down to roughly where you think is the correct eye height. So once you bring this down your people you should try to level their face or their head to the line and then make them bigger and smaller depending on the location and the position that they're in on the render. After I fixed up the human I just removed the grid and then I can always use the person that's there as a reference. So now I'm starting to add people. Now obviously when you add people, they won't always be in the same perspective that you want. So sometimes you have to skew them, you have to distort them, and you have to transform them to make them fit in your render. Sometimes it doesn't look good, sometimes it looks a bit weird. But that's uh, the thing about collage, you can do that and it's it's fine. It, it doesn't, it's not a super realistic render, so you can have simple mistakes and things that just are there for the sake of the visualization to give an idea of the feel of the theme and what's going around the area. So I just went through my template and I wanted to have a range of demographic. I wanted that to be young people, I wanted to be the elderly, I wanted to be single, families, 
so that it shows that this space is a vibrant space for all age demographics because that's the concept of this new developed area. You can add as many vehicles as you want and it all depends again on your personal preference. So I, I added this rickshaw that I added from a, which is a Bengali rickshaw. Obviously it didn't copy perfectly when I, when I cut it. However, I've left it and tried to make it work because I wanted to show you guys that even when you do things that are not properly and you cut and trim things here and there, that the render can still look very good. But we didn't have any photos of that area so we couldn't exactly model it in 3D so what we did is there were a few pictures that were taken on a road that were just further back so it will be similar so I'm just gonna copy those images and try to fit it it will take a long time to get it to work but I'm sure it will look very nice so that it has some sort of actual context in the actual image so one of the important things I'm doing is I'm creating a clipping mask what the clipping mask does is you can erase things on the image and you can bring them back by using the brush and the erase tool so you can see that I'm just erasing all over the things that I don't want and I'm brushing over the spaces that I want again and it literally it's all about transforming making it bigger smaller skew it distort it just trying to make it fit in the right perspective or something similar because again it's a collage it doesn't need to 100% work right so after a lot of skewing and distorting I managed to get it to look pretty good so what I'm doing now is I only want the first building so I'm just going to erase the places behind it and just try to stamp a few areas that I think need a bit of extra work. So because it's a collage, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to cut in and out of a few areas just to make it look a little bit more abstract. I'm then going to zoom in and erase any uh, areas of the ground around the people and around the vehicles. So I then went and added a color balance filter. So what this does is you can change all of you can change the colors, and I just wanted it to be similar to the actual render, which was a bit more orange and warm, because the actual image was a bit cold. So after doing that, I just lowered the opacity a little bit, and just I feel that now it works pretty well. So I'm then going to do the exact same process for this other area that I want that is next to it. So I literally cut a specific area of a building that I wanted to show, and I'm going to distort it erase it to create a clipping mask to get the exact same perspective as the other as the existing image that's already there so again i'm just distorting it trying to make it work because it's not a two perspective camera so it came out in a bit curved and on an angle so i'm just trying to put it back together to make the lines all vertical after that's done i was pretty happy with the perspective that both buildings are in and with the context of the bikes and of the people to show some real context of the space I, I am then using the magic wand tool to select the sky as I'm now going to cut up the sky and create a college style sky. I then cut it using Ctrl X and then Ctrl Shift V to paste in place. I then cut off the area uh, next to the building and then I'm going to do the exact same thing for the proposed buildings. Now one of the important things is that you can't just copy and paste uh, these new layers of the sky anywhere you want. You have to follow a wall, follow a road, just so that it looks easier on the eye. So you can see that on the left, it matches with the proposed buildings, and on the right, it matches with the existing images which I added. I am then adding a few trees on the background, because I just thought that I looked a bit empty. The water on the left, it is going to be a place where people can, can canoe backwards and forwards to use as a, a means of travel. So I want to show that, that this is a space that can be used for traveling and canoeing, so I'm going to literally just find any image of a canoe that's in a similar perspective so that that's not too annoying and literally cut the background and paste it in place and then did the same for a smaller boat just to show that there's a variety of boats that can be used in the area now for shadows so I'm literally creating a new layer and I'm going to make it fully black and this is going to be my shadow which I'm then going to lower the opacity. This is probably the most laziest way to do it. However, I feel that it works pretty well. Obviously it's not the most realistic but then again it's a collage so it doesn't need to be realistic. I'm literally going to brush in the same direction that the render is 
Don which is going backwards. I'm just going around the people, the rickshaw, the trees, and just going around any places that I feel I need to be a little bit more darker. What I then do is I just lower the opacity depending on which number you're comfortable with and I feel that it looks pretty good as a shadow. And that brings us to the end of the video. So this is how the final collage came out. Let me know what you guys think and if you guys use collage as a means of render. You should always challenge yourself to use different means, different mediums of rendering, sometimes realistic, sometimes collage style, creating experiences and learning. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to share, like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.